if you have one of these new smart meters and a solar voltaic system installed you might be getting incorrectly metered in this video I'll show you why this could be occurring this is how the smart meter is wired on one side the meter is wired to the grid and on the other side there is a connection to the load and there's a separate connection to the inverter the separate connection to the inverter enables the distributor to turn off the inverter if the grid gets overloaded. This next diagram shows how you should be metered for your electricity. You should pay for the net electricity imported from the grid and get a feed-in tariff for the net electricity ordered to the grid from your inverter. But my metering company is measuring the gross load, i.e. the electricity imported from the grid plus the electricity supplied by the solar system. This appears on my bill as E1. They also separately measure the electricity imported from the grid to charge the battery. This appears on my bill as E2. And measure the gross output from the inverter. This appears on my bill as B2. When the sun is shining, the load is supplied directly from the inverter and any excess is then exported to the grid. At night time, the load is supplied from the inverter due to the batteries. It is only when it is very cloudy for several days, I would have to import any energy from the grid. According to the inverter's data logger, this has never happened and I have imported about 0.3 kilowatt hours of electricity on average per day. Yet, I am being billed for about 4 to 5 kilowatt hours of electricity per day due to the medium company measuring the gross load instead of the net load imported from the grid. Even if you have a solar system without batteries, you will still be overcharged for electricity that has been generated by the inverter due to the metering company measuring the gross load instead of the net load imported from the grid. The registers on the meter can be manually read to check your actual usage. Record the readings at the start of the billing period and then at the end and calculate the difference to get your actual usage. The registers will cycle automatically or this button can be used to manually cycle through the registers. On my meter, register 001 measures the net imported energy from the grid. Register 040 measures the net exported energy from the inverter to the grid. Register 101 measures the gross load energy. Register 140 measures the energy generated by the load. This usually shows zero, but at one stage I had my inverter connected to the load instead of directly to the meter. Register 201 shows the energy used by the inverter and register 240 records the gross energy exported by the inverter. 